Hi everyone and welcome back to a little bit of this nap. Um, so we we really enjoyed doing our reaction video the other day to the fantastic new game My Time at Sandrock. Um, and we found this a wonderful tweet by Monomi Park letting us know that in 2022 they are going to be releasing their Slime Rancher 2. So another game that we are really, really, really excited to play. Mainly me. Well, Trinity's really excited. I think if you saw... It keep cutting you, know. you out. Yeah, no, I had um, a phone call. Hang on. Okay, so Trinity, we're going to, what we're going to do today is we're going... We've uh, searched up Manoma Park official trailer for the... So much too, and we are going to have a look at it. It's my first time I'm watching it. It's the Trinity's watched it yesterday, which is I, how I know that it was there. I watched it today uh, actually in the morning because I was that excited. There you go. Uh, let's let's uh, let's get on and watch it. Beep. That is too loud. There we go. It's so beautiful. The graphics are awesome. Look, you even got droplets on the camera. Yeah. Now I'm gonna pause it there because I remember se I remember seeing Hector had put something in the forest part that at some point, if it was to if it was left, this the forest would consume the whole of the island. And that scene reminded me of the entrance to the ranch, so I'm wondering if this is later on where the tree has engulfed the island. So you think it's more of like, um, rather it being like a prequel, you think it's like the... Um, the prequel is the one before Slime Ranch, this is the one like... So yeah, you think it's a few years on or whatever from the Slime Rancher with Beatrix and Slime Rancher Run. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good theory. I remember what you were saying too, because when I watched um, Thanks Sears playthrough, um, I remember seeing that uh, Hector's Hector saying all of that. So that it, it's definitely an interesting. So what they were for, obviously may have been foreshadowing that in the first game. Hmm. So I know the gun's the same as well, which is quite cool. It is actually, yeah. Are we continuing. Yeah, we can continue. Oh, it's so cute, it's so squishy. Oh, oh, it's a hand. You got bunnies and butterflies. Ah, go back, go back. What was that? What was what? Go back. I want to see the flying one. You want to see the butterflies? Is that a butterfly flying? Uh, yeah, I believe it was. Yeah. That one at the back. Yeah, it's a butterfly. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> I know, right? And what, these are like, like sea new lanterns. water slimes by the look of it? Uh, it looks like they're sea lanterns, but yeah, water slimes. Cool. The, the designs... Um, look very, almost similar to the if first. I think some of them are. So like the pink slimes, you can tell that they they are very similar to the original design but the um, butterfly slime and these new lantern slimes I think you can see the difference in design hmm. so I really I really like the new designs of the slimes that's really cool e. right let's continue you got like bats as well look how cute that is <laughs> Oh, they actually look like bats as well. <laughs> yeah, they're adorable. Look how cute they all are. <laughs> look at all of them. I just want to squish at them. <laughs> they are really cute bats. I wonder what the... Because you in Slime Rancher, you can put two slimes together to make a new slime, can't you? Mm -hmm. So I wonder what the morph slimes are going to be in this one. Uh, you do get to see one. It's a... Uh, yeah, those... Bunnies plus butterflies. That's quite cool, cute, like flying butt bunnies. Yeah. And it looks like you've got like a greenhouse. 
as well. Like um, it was a science centre, wasn't it? That was a bit like a greenhouse and Sign Rancher one. This oh, looks yeah. a bit bigger. It looks like the ranch isn't outdoors. It looks like it's all in one place. Like they've upgraded it. It looks quite cool. Yeah. But um, when I saw the tweet, they said it was something about over the rainbow. So it's, I think it's set in a different place as well. Might be. Okay. You want to press play so we can do the rest? Yes, I was just admiring it all. It's a lovely. Oh, there's the Tars. Oh, so the Tars haven't changed. But they look scary enough anyway, they didn't really need to change that design. Hmm. And there's Beatrix. Oh, so we keep Beatrix, that's really cool. But do you see what I mean now by the trees have taken over the like the range and stuff? Yeah, it's like she's gone away, like she's finished Sign Rancher 1. She's like, yeah, I'm happy with my far, far away ranch. And then she goes to over the rainbow and she's like, nope, I'm going to get on with this one now. Yeah. Um, but no, the graphics are 100% better. Hmm. There's somewhere over there, right in the side as well. I wonder where that leads to. Somewhere, oh what, with the big boboa tree? Uh, yeah, you can see it right in the side. Uh, it's got palm trees. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder yeah, where I that is. Been, you get them in, um, I think it's, uh, it's not Jamaica. I think they're called the Baboa trees. I think it's like Africa and stuff like that you get them in. They're like proper thick stemmed and then really thin branches with the leaves. Mm. Isn't those a, though, isn't, aren't those the leaves that they use to like welcome Mary into the place? Who's Mary? Jesus' mum. Who's Mary? Sorry. Um, <laughs> no, I think they were supposedly meant to be palm leaves. They laid down. Oh, okay. It's a completely different tree. And yeah. it was in the shed, wasn't it? So, uh, or an outside area that she gave birth to Jesus. So I think there was some um, sort of like palm leaves. That's why we have Palm Sunday. Oh, okay. So because that's that's what it that's what it is meant to um, signify is the laying of the palm leaves and stuff, getting ready for Jesus's birth, and then. Um, Obviously, she gave birth in the in the dog in the shed. Like I think it was like a donkey shed or something. This isn't a Christianity thing. Okay, so I I have something to say. What I'm impressed with. It looks yeah. like there are two types of bunny slimed: one yellow and one red. I did see that, but I didn't know that. I did. I do see what you mean. But I don't know if maybe that's because of the light, the way the light was going. Because I like the way that they've kept in the sunsets as well. Because that was one of the things I liked about the original Slime Rancher, was that at one point you could see the sunset and sunrise. Oh, I understand what it is. Do you see what the sea near Beatrix? You got the one actually on the floor next to the slime. That's a mongo slime, which means the rabbits have eaten the pink plorts. That's that's a pink plort plus rabbit slime. Oh, I see. To be fair, I didn't realise they were slimes. I thought they were bushes. Wow. <laughs> well done. I might um, zoom in for people so that they can see what we mean at this point. Um, but yeah, and the way they've done the logo as well, that's very different. Obviously, yeah. it's more pastel colours, whereas before it was like the bright pink with the pink slime, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It's more pastel coloured now, which is... Um, I think it's really, really cool the way they've sort of changed it for the second game, but kept it because it's the same sort of writing, so they've kept it entwined with each other, which is really, really good. And they've kept Beatrix. Because you can't ask Slime Rancher about Beatrix. We all love Beatrix. You know, I'm going to laugh if it's Beatrix when she's old because she's got, from what I can see, she's got like greyish hair or whatever that is. The player's an older Beatrix. But to be fair, if they are doing it like a few years on from the first time rancher, that's that's a good sort of um, way way of thinking because she would be older. Hmm. So yeah, her hair isn't as green is it as it was? It's more like a greyish green. But I I like that. I think it's a good attention to detail. Hmm. 
Well, so no, we've still. We can press play now. Yeah, because we've still got like. Oh, look, it's going back to. Yeah, see, he's kept the rainbows too. A wiggly new adventure begins. 2022. I'm so excited! Pause it, minute, pause it, go back. What? So. It's only going to be on Xbox. Series X. Wait. But it also says console, PC, and cloud. Also, oh, it might become to PC. Maybe they're looking to put it on Xbox as like a main game on Xbox, which would be really cool. Hmm. Because we're looking. I'm looking for that one. Anyway, you'd need an Xbox Series X slash S. Yeah, no, we were asking to get one anyway, guys, because we need to upgrade our Xbox. Oh, okay. It it says a work. Press play because I want to see what it says about when it's coming out. So I'm sure they said they were looking at quarter one, 2022. It just says 2022. Play it day. Oh, it's going to be in the Xbox Game Pass as well. Yeah. Which means that you could play it. You don't have to. You can buy the actual game, but if you actually buy the Xbox we'll Game Pass, out, by the way, you can play it for free. Yeah. So that's really good. After this bit, there you go, there. Hmm. So play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. So Xbox Game Pass, I don't I, I don't know um, how much it will be, obviously in 2022, they might put their prices up, but I think it's currently something like £10 a month. Hmm. And... That you can get, basically, you can play like you get like 60 to 70 games that you can play for free. So it's really good that they sort of play it. It says play it day one, so they're it's straight away going to be available to everyone who's who's paying for the Xbox Game Pass, which is really really good. But yes, it's a game we will definitely be playing. Um, Monomi Park, um, we are very very excited. Um, I know I commented on your your thread uh, to so much to saying that we can't wait because we can't we are very very excited for this and i know trinity is very very excited for this and i might actually play this because obviously trinity is the one who plays so much on our channel i probably will play this on for a bit of downtime as well um as you all saw when trinity asked me to uh, take over a game while she went and did something you all saw me um fail miserably you so killed my character like three times, times. <laughs> What? You killed my character like three times. Well, because I tried to jump, it's not my fault she fell in the water. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, so that's it guys, Slow Ratchet 2. Um send your love to Mobile Park, show them how excited we are for this game. Uh thank you for joining us today. If you liked what you saw, please hit a like on the uh, video. Oh uh, if you'd like to I have something to say. Okay. There is a Minecraft series that I want to start, so if anyone's interested in that, leave a comment on a mod mod pack you might want to see me start a, start a series in, and I'll give it a go. At the moment, I'm thinking of a certain series, but I'm not going to spoil that. But yeah, if you want me to play a certain series, put it on down, and I will play it. I'll try it anyway. So there you have it, a bit of a... A bit of a reveal from us as well. Um, so yeah, so um, just below the video, there's a red button that says subscribe. If you press that, it's a completely free way of supporting us. That would be great. Um, we hope you're all staying safe. We hope you're all well, and it's goodbye from me. We all love you. It that be goodbye from Trin, and me and Trinity will see you in future videos. Bye. Ta-ta, my little beans. <laughs>